Welcome back, DigiDs. That's right, to another episode of Mini Motorways. And tell you what, it is nice to sit down, relax, and play something as calming as this game. We just got done with a nice three to four hour long stream for Dead Island. Did a whole bunch of editing for Dead Island. Just got done from a long day of work. I say let's sit down and have a little fun playing Mini Motorways. Let's see what we're actually doing here today. We are working all the way to that's right, last time we were playing Tokyo and we had a lot of issues trying to get across that island with a whole bunch of bridges. Now it looks like today we're going to be trying to attempt Dar es Salaam. I am sorry, I'm American and I do not know how to pronounce that. Dar es Salaam. Let's go. Oh, okay. Very straightforward at first. Nothing too particular. It did look like it was going to have a river somewhere off to our right hand side. And go ahead and speed up and get this process going already off with a couple of nice red houses to get us a nice good flat plane a lot of good progress going already we start out with a roundabout which is pretty nice we're gonna have to try to keep that in mind for a future use so we don't get so we don't use them too sparingly go ahead and wait for the next couple of houses to pop up we are on fast forward mode and this might be a little bit of an easier map comparatively to like tokyo and even like some of the older maps Oh wow, a second one immediately. <laughs> right on top of the other. That is worked pretty well though, because at that point I could, if at one point I had to, I could start connecting these roads to each other. But we do want to keep them seg segregated as much as possible. Beautiful. And as we found out in the last episode as well, if you have houses that are close enough directly to the entrance of a market, about two to three houses could could keep a market completely su like sustained. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The sustained? I think the word I'm looking for is sustained. But here is our first weekend bonus choice. What do we want? Do we want traffic lights or do we want a roundabout? So I think I'm gonna take a traffic light. Traffic lights are pretty useful. Originally when this game came out, traffic lights were pretty pointless to have, but at this point they work great. They almost work almost like they kind of work off of, in a sense of having motion sensors, almost in like in real life. Oh, DigiDs, let's go ahead and pause. We already have our first problem. <laughs> we already have our first problem. How wonderful. So we're gonna have to take this red and go all the way up and around in the opposite direction. Because if we wanna keep these houses completely segregated, we wanna have this yellow road go all the way down and around. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, hopefully we can keep these two separated. We want these roads completely on their own networks. And so, just so we don't get completely cut off, I'm gonna put an extra road right on this little corner. Kind of like a big intersection, make sure that we don't eventually get cut off from getting access to that corner. I know, oh, we can see the map slowly expanding. Taking a look at these trees at the very top, watching my mouse cursor, you can see how the map is getting a little bit bigger. And there is that river that we saw. This river is starting to come into view and another yellow i say let's go ahead and oh boy this is already starting to be a real challenge <laughs> i tell you what because now look at this we have to go all the way up and around get these other houses connected i feel like this is going to end up cutting off one of this reds i'm gonna want to keep this red i think yeah i want to have a road that kind of already road tiles are two more traffic lights i'm gonna take two more traffic lights I want to have this road as an outlet just in case I end up getting blocking off with a whole bunch of other houses. So that way we don't get this entire area just completely sectioned off on its own. I'm kind of planning ahead, anticipating exactly where things are going to spawn. Because if there's one thing I know about this game, it really likes to screw you over. You want to sit there and keep everything segregated. You want to have all your clean roads. It's not going to happen. At some point, you're going to have some weird crossovers that you're going to somehow have to manage. Now, luckily, this blue seems to be appearing right next to each other. And you know what? I think I'm even going to... I don't want anything spawning against this road system because that will end up screwing up a whole lot as well. So if I can go ahead and actually close that off by just making sure the road stays next to the other one, we should be pretty safe. Now, the key word here is should. Should. There's a lot of shoulds in this game. It seems so simple to just play kind of, well, traffic manager. I mean, at the moment, I'm kind of just sitting here watching things happen, which is kind of the plan. You know, again, after a long day of work, after all the big streams and episodes that we've been doing lately, kind of looking to just sit back, relax, and play a little bit more. We do have a bridge, which is a good start. 
So instead of having this blue go all the way around, which honestly we could do, but wouldn't be necessarily all that efficient. So we're gonna take this motorway, which can go over everything, and let's attach it to the back side. Go ahead and get this blue cornered in, get that one cornered in, and now they both have access directly to this blue market. Go ahead and speed up the time and watch them go. You can even move around the motorway a little bit and watch it bounce and kind of rubber band around. The cars don't seem to mind. They seem to stay on just fine. <laughs> okay, so good thing we did use that motorway because now I could go through the tree, but why not protect the trees? Let's go ahead and go all the way up and around. We are going to have a double market system. As we can see, they have another slot here waiting for another color to kind of spawn in there. And that really is... Well, you know, I'm so glad I kept this road as an outlet. So now we do have this one road here that's going to be its one connection to the outside world. We have a red here that is going all the way to the opposite side. And Digidees, I am out of road. I, I am out of road. <laughs> I am completely out of road. I almost debate if I should keep this motorway, get rid of this motorway and put it over on these yellows. But I think I'm just going to cut it close and wait for the Sunday to end. Come on, bonus. Come on, Sunday bonus. I can hear it clicking. There we are. Let's go ahead and take 30 road tiles, please, and thank you. However, we are likely going to have to start taking bridges sometime soon. As, of course, as we see, this river is starting to come more into frame. We have Coco Beach and Masadini Bay. Interesting. I have never heard of these places. <laughs> I am not cultured enough. I, I, I apparently... Which is surprising, you know, I, I feel like I pride myself a little bit on knowing a lot of different locations simply because of, well, let's be honest, Hearts of Iron. Hearts of Iron has taught me so much on where places are, <laughs> but more so countries and some countries that no longer exist. Ooh, purples are all the way on the other side. I'm running out of roads. This is going to prove to be a little difficult as they all start to kind of spawn in one area on the opposite side of me. Is there anywhere I can save myself a road to kind of connect in some of these? Not quite that I'm seeing. I could take one off of here, I suppose. A couple of purples should be good enough and hold me over until the new Sunday. Fingers crossed we do get a bridge. As you can see, some of these houses are already starting to spawn on the other side of the river. A motorway. Ooh. I am short on roads, so I think I'd rather take the road with a bridge comparatively to a motorway. As much as I would really love to take that motorway, we're going to have to take the bridge. We do have these reds kind of hiding on the other side. Now let's just make a small little junction down here for them to kind of connect into. We had Digities. It has been a long week. You know, hey, I work 12 hour days. We had a big stream going on just recently, which... Hey, if you guys loved the Dead Island series, <laughs> if you guys loved the Dead Island series, if I could talk, boy, it's been a long day. If you love the Dead Island series, then you'll feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell, like the video, do it, all that great stuff, because I guarantee we will have more series and more content just like that in the future. And you know what? This is even a little bit of pretext because I'm going to do a couple of episodes of Mini Waterways here, but we do have something even more exciting coming in the future. Maybe not necessarily more exciting than Dead Island, but it is an exciting type of game. Just recently bought it a few days ago, haven't even opened it up yet. So I'll give you guys a first look on kind of a big, big flashing lights, big high energy type of game that's going to be coming in a couple of days. I just realized, let's go ahead and pause real quick. I forgot to connect in these reds. So before I kind of mess myself up, let's go ahead and connect these in. I don't have enough roads. We can get rid of one, connect those in. And now we have a couple of blues that are completely cut off from the opposite direction. These reds are kind of cutting it off. This would be a helpful scenario to have the motorway. So what I think I can do, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this motorway. Let's get in these blues. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and connect in these blues because they can go to this one road or they can go to this one market. I go ahead and speed up time a bit. Once they all come back from over this motorway. Never mind. Here is another motorway. Let's go ahead and just do that instead. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. I just made a whole bunch of road. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. 
Let's go ahead and replace this motorway right back in. Because now I'm gonna wanna do something just as doubly ooh, confusing. Hang on, so we have a lot of road at the moment. Let's go ahead and connect these into the same road network as these light blues, because a orange just spawned on that road. Instead of having these coming all the way around to these markets, let's go ahead and cut these off, attach them into that road network. But now we still have these oranges that are sitting back in the side. We wait for some of these roads to come back to us. Any moment now. Any moment now, we'll be getting back those roads. Right? There they are. Now it's starting to, you have to wait for the last car to come back. Go ahead and pause again. Because now we can start to connect these in. All these cars are going up and around to this market on this side. A little bit far away, but that's fine. I can probably even take off one of them to go into this one. We do have a mall compared to just a regular market. And a mall obviously takes a lot more people. Now our original objective with this other motorway was the fact that we... Where is that other blue? Can I lose track of it? I'll say we do have these blues kind of stagnating up here in the side, which I, yeah, I'm going to have to take this motorway and connect it down to the other motorway at the same time. Connect these markets in or these little houses. And now what? We have traffic lights. Why not use the traffic lights? Oh no, let's not get rid of the motorway. <laughs> Accidentally getting rid of all of my motorways. Need to give them a little bit of room to allow a traffic light to work properly. Go ahead and connect these in. And I don't, I did not mean to get rid of that motorway, but we're gonna have to wait a moment for these cars to come back to reattach it. Oh, we have another blue. So this is a good opportunity to actually go ahead and say, let's get rid of this motorway entirely. I know it keeps going right back and forth. <laughs> it's just going back and forth, back and forth. These blues are gonna be a struggle. Yeah, we're gonna have to reorganize a lot of these. Let's wait for these blues to get back and let's do them all at the same time. There we go, okay. Let's take a good look at this. We have three different blue markets and we have about three different blue locations. This blue house over here, gone. I'm not even gonna worry about it. It is so far off the network that I can't even comprehend an idea of trying to attach that in without screwing over some of these roads. But what we can do here, let's go ahead and take this one motorway, bring it around to attach to the other blue. Kind of want it going around in this big arc on the outside so that way we can have a better view. If it goes the other way, it's gonna be blocking some of this over here. Now that this is all attached in, let's get those houses attached in. Nice, nice. Do we need a traffic light here? Not really. I don't think there's gonna be enough really traffic for it to be an issue. We still have another motorway here, which I'm going to use to attach into this backside. Because this is a mall compared to just a regular market, I'm gonna attach in a couple more houses as well. We still have two blue houses to the regular market. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just fill in these roads. Yeah, so that way nothing can spawn here and you know screw us over, which I'm sure it'll try to do. We're down to just three roads. This blue way down here is going to be kind of SOL as well. I could attach it in slightly as so, but I don't think it's necessarily worth the effort. We do have another orange down here that's kind of hiding away. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and speed up time. Attaching this route to this other side. All the markets are doing good. We should be able to sit back and just let it relax. How's your guys day going? Going well? Y'all been doing anything important? Enjoying the weather? Summer's starting to finally come around. Really kind of the sweaters are coming off. All the t-shirts are coming out. Enjoying the weather. You know, it's, what do they call it? It's, it's hot girl summer now. <laughs> but I believe it's okay. Boys, we have fuck boy fall. <laughs> yes, those are the two that I'm familiar with. We have hot girl summer and we have fuck boy fall. <laughs> do we need another motorway or another bridge? We are low on roads. I want more road tiles, but do you really need more road tiles when you have an entire highway system you can just slap down anywhere? We had a few things spawn. This is still a mall. We have a couple of blues down here on this side. We could attach these in at the moment, but again, it, the market is still doing fine, so it may not even be necessarily worth it. Anything else hiding away from us? Ooh, that's right. We do have a couple of these light blues that are hiding away. There we go. 
I have probably too many all going on at this one intersection. With that being said, I'm actually going to detach some of these and put them in a better section. This works out great. You know, you can have a nice 45 degree angle. If you think about how just traffic flow goes in general, you know, you like to have a nice 45 to kind of just zoom on through, take the corner, keep on going. This traffic light will be important though to kind of mediate the difference between this house and the bunch of the oranges that are coming through. Nothing else we're missing? No, and let's go ahead and continue. Now this is still very early game. We are about to start breaking through on a lot of these points. A lot of the traffic is starting to flow now, all getting to their stores, everything's doing pretty well. This score is gonna start skyrocketing. But probably right around the 1200 mark is when it's gonna get super difficult. I'm already, again, still a little scared simply because of how little roads we have. If I have a 30 tile option pop up next, I'm gonna have to take it over even a bridge or a motorway. Ooh, wow. Okay, we have a motorway. We do have a motorway and a bunch of oranges over on this side. How do we want to mediate getting the traffic over there? Let's take a look at what we really have. We have one, two, three, four different stores all for orange. Now, we have four different houses that are all going to this one market over there. Hmm, this is going to be difficult. So I say let's take a motorway, throw it dead center in the middle of all the oranges, connect it over into this market, and we can now attach a few onto it. With that being said, because we don't need that many houses going off of just a regular market compared to a mall, get a couple attached in. These two are still attached in, and now we still have a majority of the oranges that are coming through on this road into this market. As well, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six all the way on this side going to this market. We should be fine. I, I suspect that this is going to upgrade into a mall sometime soon. Oh, and somebody's trying to call me. My mother is trying to call me. Sorry, mother. YouTube comes first. <laughs> Um, when is Mother's Day? Uh, actually, I need I need to look that up after this. Today's not. You know what? Look, this is this is doing fine. I'm gonna look this up right now. I'm gonna find out whether or not I'm in trouble. <laughs> um, but yeah, perfect, perfect. Let's take a look at this bonus. While I'm definitely not looking up when is Mother's Day. When is Mother's Day? May fourteenth. Today is the twelfth. That just gave you a little bit of context on when I'm recording this. Yeah, it is the 12th. We're... There we go. So it is on the 14th. Wait, on the 14th. On the 14th. Saturday, Sunday. Oh, I'm working on that day. Okay. Digities, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I'm going to have to buy some flowers for my mother or something because I'm going to be working that day. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, taking a look at this week eight roundabout bridge. We got to take the bridge. Roundabouts are, eh, roundabouts are okay. You know, let's, let's just throw one in. Why not? They're somewhat effective. They're not all that great though at the moment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and attach this road out this corner before this gets locked in. It is about one house spawning from a locking away that bridge. Even more blues. Okay, even more blues, huh? This blue over here is cut off. This blue over here is cut off. These blues up here are doing fine for this market. The only other blues I can really put over there well, are these. Good thing I just got a whole bunch of, yeah, this is a good thing I just got a whole bunch of more road because I got to waste all of them just to get over here. Of course. Now we have five left over and go. Does this need a traffic light? I'm going to go ahead and actually and an extra road just to make this go forward one so I can use a traffic light for that. You can't put it on the same node as a motorway. But if you go ahead one space further, you can put on a traffic light, which is nice. Get the traffic flowing through there. Great. Nice. Another blue. Did have to de destroy a tree for it, unfortunately. The purples are doing fine. Let's go ahead and attach this red in. Another blue. Oh, hang on a second. And it perfectly put itself in between both roads. Oh, this game is trying to screw me over. <laughs> and it's a big market too, so there's gonna be another color. So I'm gonna have to go around this somehow. Let's take these purples, go another step out with these. And I don't I don't have enough road left over. I'm gonna have to get rid of a couple of these roads that I'm using as outlets. And gonna have to wait. 
Luckily, it is Saturday. A light blue. Oh my god. What am I gonna do with this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Digities, I am already starting to feel like we are getting a little bit cornered here. This is supposed to be a relaxing game, and I'm starting to freak out a little bit. Um, I gotta get more roads. Okay, we just got back 10 roads. We will take these purples and go around. They can go around as so. Just like that. Now, how am I gonna get these blues over? Okay, okay. Let's take these blues. Not, like, when you take these houses and go in one direction, none of them cost a road to do just that. But if I go ahead and attach this down, not quite enough to make our ground. It, we need the Sunday to end. Perfect, there we go. Do I want 30 road tiles or do I want a motorway? I, I, I need the 30 motor, I need the 30 tiles. Go ahead and attach these down. This will be a perfect opportunity for traffic like this will help mediate all the traffic going in between the two. But now how are we gonna solve this issue of these blues? I think I'm gonna have to extend this road down, come around and come in through the same side. I do not want them coming on coming in on the red market side. That'll end up screwing up too much. But now because we have a mall and a blue market, we're gonna have to attach in more of these blues. I bet I can get, yep, I can get one more. <laughs> That's essentially all it. I can get one more and I can get this one house on this one market. That's about it. <laughs> there, there might be a way. I could take a slight road into this motorway, which is what I might have to do. I can't do that though. I just noticed if I attach this in, allow access for this road to go for this motorway all the way around to this blue, it also gives access to the light blues which means that even more traffic will be coming through there. So let's go ahead and get rid of that road. Accidentally get rid of the motorway again. Is there a way to undo my accidental motorway deletion? I don't think there is. So you have to be careful with that. Because I don't know how to fix that now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to fix that now. I, I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> oh, well, uh, we're just going to wait. I, ho I hope these blues hold on. They're going to have to. They're gonna have to. There there goes the motorway. Okay. Let's reattach this in. And you know what? Let's do one better. Let's do one better. I don't need this to be all the way over here coming around. They can have a nice little T intersection at this front. Like so. We can go ahead and attach in this orange now off to the side. Beautiful. This mall is doing all right. This mall is doing all right. We have another red down here that we kind of missed. I'm going to steal a couple of reds from this road network and bring them over into that side, just like so. And let's go ahead and continue. Come on, blues. Yeah, here come all the blues. There's a little bit of a traffic jam up here because of it. <laughs> but once that kind of all mediates itself, it should be good. Can I put a traffic light? Yeah, I can put a traffic light right there at this intersection. Nice. Another red market up here at the top. I can go ahead and attach in and lots of light blues also coming in out of nowhere. We have another dark blue, another orange. A lot of stuff is spawning all of a sudden. I'm trying to keep track of it all. These blues are starting to kind of fall behind. But I think they'll manage if I can get a couple more into the network. I don't know if there's necessarily a way for me to get more into the network though. This market is doing fine on the bottom left hand side. How do we get more blues into this road? I think the only real way of me being able to do that is if I do attach these blues in and allow them onto this motorway. This might be too much of a traffic jam, which I am a little bit concerned about. To combat that, I'm actually going to get rid of one because this market is likely going to need more houses regardless. Only having one on it isn't going to be necessarily strong enough. It'll help traffic flow as well, making sure that they don't all go through the same junction with another house trying to make a corner. That's really about the best I think I can do. Got another red sitting off to the side. There we go. Now, uh, these blues are going to be a real struggle. They, they are a struggle. Not going to be. They are. <laughs> A bridge, traffic light. Um, honestly, we haven't had to use the bridges a whole lot. I think I could just go for another traffic light at this point. 
throw the traffic light onto this intersection so that we don't get too much of a traffic jam. We got even more blues coming across. Hopefully they can start sedating that. I don't know. I could attach in a couple blues off of this side as well. With there being oranges down here, I can go ahead and connect in this orange. I think I'm going to have to do it, Digitees. I'm going to have to... Let's see if I can create a system where they just curve into this blue. And throw in... I don't know if I'll even necessarily need a traffic light. It's not a whole lot of traffic or houses that should be coming through there. But now with an extra four houses on that network, they should help sedate that mall where the rest of these should start focusing on the market. Beautiful. Just barely managing. It's, start, it's starting to kind of help itself. It's starting to cure itself. These purples are a little bit of an issue. Kind of like a tree going on right here. It's a little, a little beautiful, I gotta say. Uh oh, uh oh, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Never mind. We have a lot of traffic issues. These purple, where are these purples coming from? Oh, these purples for some reason are trying to go through this road. I want them to come down through this road. But unfortunately, they're all trying to go through the same network. Now that's a problem. Is there a way to get rid of that? It happened because I added this road. Because I added in more blues, they started seeing this as a shorter route. Okay. So I didn't solve the issue. <laughs> so I didn't fix it. Um, What happens if I get rid of that and just pray that the blues don't kill me? Question mark. I feel like I'd be better off going ahead and attaching in these other blues in a weird fashion. In a very weird, in a very weird fashion. I think, yeah, I think I'd be better off attaching these coming across traffic right through these middle parts instead of trying to have the purples go all the way through my most important intersection. Now this is all just, this is all just guesswork. I'm just hoping it's gonna work. And I called it, it was gonna be right around the 1000 to 1200 mark that I said it was gonna start getting real hard. And it's showing its teeth, it's starting to get real hard. Yeah, having a little bit of an issue with all the purples and blues and light blues getting through at the same time. No, come on purples. Yeah, get there, get there. You got this. You're all starting to fix yourselves, right? Oh no, not the blues. Not the blues. <laughs> not the reds. No, not the, oh, where did you come from? No. <laughs> I didn't even see that bottom left one. It's starting to over, get to run out of time. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. Okay. Well, hey, <laughs> we tried Digities. That was something else. Let's, let me just continue to take a look at this and pause. Endless mode, no pressure, edit, grow your network at your own speed. Your city never shuts down, achieve milestones. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can continue playing even after you lose. That's a nice little touch. So you don't like lose your progress or whatever. I mean, it's not really, you already did, but hey, whatever. But taking a look, this is an absolute rainbow. And look at this, another blue market just spawned. That is too many. Where would I even grab in the blues? They're all on the right hand side of the map. And this one's over on the left hand side. It started out so well, but this, <laughs> yeah, this, oh my God. Oh, didn't mean to erase stuff, but whatever. I think this is, this is going to be the end of the episode, but this right here is what really screwed us over. And the red starting coming through as well, all because this connected in, then they suddenly found a network through by going through this intersection. And by going through that intersection, they... I, I'm not even sure now. Oh, because when they get to this motorway, come up and around. It was a weird connection. The problem is, is that if a red is, if any color is connected at any point of this connection, somehow getting to a store or market or, you know, mall, they will try to find that path to go all the way through. It won't find the closest one to go to. If it has a spot for it to go there, it might travel all the way over there. And that was, I mean, all this was our downfall. <laughs> But thank you, DigiDs, for watching. And hey, we'll have another Mini Motorways episode coming out tomorrow. And after that, I got a little bit of surprise for you. For again, we got a nice high octane new game coming to the channel. And it's something that will be a little bit different. But thank you, DigiDs. I still don't know how to do these outros. Very obviously. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. And bye bye.